afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Live at Four. It's Friday. It's Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed the football or the basketball this afternoon. Yeah. We have a very happy Charlotte Deleste yes, in the newsroom. Yes, we do. Marquette's moving on. We're She's hanging on. on with our brackets. We're, we're <laughs> number one. By the skin. Well, we're tied. Yeah. We're all tied. <laughs> so we'll get to the brackets in just a bit. But first, top in our news today, the Wisconsin women's hockey team is in Duluth to face off against arch rival Minnesota in the Frozen Four. A legend in the capital has decided to resign. Doug LaFollette's duty is done, and so is he. And the White House is asking Congress to expand the FDIC's authority to hold executives accountable for failed banks as lawmakers express concern about the stability of the banking system. Boy, it's a cold day today. It was chilly. At least there's no snow on the clover. <laughs> and those boats aren't going in the water anytime soon. It is not spring yet. Julian's in the backyard. That wind today is a real killer. That's right. And that's mainly the headline for today is that it's just going to be flat out windy throughout the rest of our Friday and even heading into our Saturday. But the good news is, even though it's not spring yet, we are three days away from spring, folks. We are enjoying the sunshine on our Friday, but it is still on the colder side and those gusts are going nowhere. 26 miles per hour gusts right now in Madison, 40 miles per hour gusts in Monroe with 30s around much of southern Wisconsin. Folks, it is going to be one of those where you want to hold on to your hats. Those winds are not going to be going anywhere. As I mentioned, as we head into the rest of tonight, it's still going to be sustained into the gusty side from the middle to lower 30s throughout the overnight transitioning into our Saturday. Right now, again, the best news is that we have some sunshine and we have some blue skies outside of it. Temperature in city upper 20s. They're going to slide to even colder conditions by the time we get into 10 o'clock tonight. Some clouds will linger here and there, but overall it is going to be a very cold one for us on tap as we get into the rest of tonight. Temperatures will fall into around 13 degrees for Madison. Many of us will see those lower and middle teens as we carry into the rest of the overnight hours. A quick look at our traffic. Well, things are actually pretty smooth once again around this time as we're getting into the 4 p.m. commutes, especially around the Beltline. We'll talk more about when we can see those winds start to clear off in a few moments. Until then, that's you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. First at four, Wisconsin's longest serving Secretary of State, Doug LaFollette, announced his retirement today, effective immediately. Governor Tony Evers is appointing former State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski to serve in his place. Godlewski most recently dropped out of the 2022's primary election in her bid for U.S. Senate. The office has been held by fewer than 30 people since 1848 and Galuski will be just the third woman to serve. LaFollow was just three months into his 10th consecutive term and has held the office for more than four decades. He was first elected in 1974, then again in 1982, where he served, where he has served ever since. Well, the wait for the Frozen Four is almost over for the Wisconsin women's hockey team. The Badgers took to the ice to practice yesterday before today's pivotal Frozen Four game against rival Minnesota. Sports Director Zach Hanley is at Amsoil Arena in Duluth for the IC Battle. Zach, what's up? Yeah, man, how cool is this? Look at the Badgers taking the red carpet right now, walking into Amsoil Arena before they get ready to take on Minnesota sixth time this season. It's the seventh time these two teams have faced each other in the Frozen Four. We have the Badger Band. Bucky is here. Here come some more players. There's Lacey Keeley. Uh, this is just an awesome environment. And it's just fitting that the Badgers get to play their arch rival in an elimination game to go play for a national championship if they win. We'll have much more coming up in probably seven to ten minutes it back to you guys. The band, Perfect timing, the band, Zach. The band is playing. All right, Zach. We'll check back later. Thank you. Americans have a growing concern about their bank accounts as a third regional bank is bailed out. This time it was the banks themselves that stepped in to shore up First Republic. But the turmoil continues to roil the stock market. Willie James Inman has more details from Washington. President Biden says Congress needs to learn to get past the partisan divide that has gripped Capitol Hill. I agree with the speaker. There's no reason why we can't find common ground. There's no reason why we can't hope to change this, this direction of the extremes in both our parties are pushing. Friday, the president called on Congress to pass tough new penalties on executives of failed banks. The administration says it wants to expand the FDIC's ability to get back compensation from executives who lead failed banks. 
and also wants to be able to bar them from holding future jobs in the industry and to impose civil fines against them. CBS News has confirmed the Justice Department launched a probe this week looking into the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in California. The Wall Street Journal reports the firm's CEO and CFO both sold stocks just days before the bank's failure. SVB's parent company announced Friday morning it is filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, although it is no longer affiliated with the bank following its takeover by federal regulators. Meanwhile, the stock market took another beating Friday. Investors continue to sell their banking sector shares, especially mid-sized level banks. These were the banks that were, say, between 50 and $250 billion of depositor assets that wanted a lower level of regulation. And now that lower level of regulation may be biting them in the you-know-where. 11 of America's largest financial institutions had to step in with $30 billion to keep First Republic from collapsing. Trading in First Republic stocks had to be temporarily halted Friday due to the large volume of sell-offs. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington. Well, despite the banking turmoil nationwide, Wisconsin banks have a message. Things are safe here at home. Naomi Cole spoke to the Wisconsin Bankers Association today. Hi, Naomi. What was their message? You know, it's kind of ironic also coming from just what we just heard about the national banks, but their message is a large part of it is because the Wisconsin economy is itself doing well. Their message is safety. Our banks are doing well because the economy is. The executive I spoke to speaks for basically every bank in Wisconsin and says they are on a much different playing field than the Silicon Valley Bank in California, the Signature Bank in New York that you just heard about that collapsed last weekend. Those banks operated in different sectors. And while for many people here at home, there, there may be fears based in 2008's recession, Dylan Lund says that's just not the case in Wisconsin. Their business model was much different than Wisconsin banks. What we'd like to say is in Wisconsin, the vast majority of our deposits are invested locally. So if you start looking at manufacturing, the tourism industry, agriculture, mortgages, we're very much diversified. And so from this strength of Wisconsin banks is really dependent upon the strength of Wisconsin's economy. Now, for those remembering 2008, Lund also mentioned that it was the housing bubble that contributed to that collapse, and that's not something we're seeing signs of in this situation. We get much deeper into this conversation Sunday on For the Record at 1030. Well, last weekend, it was chaos for, yeah. for bankers. Does Dylan believe that things might be settling down nationwide? You know, obviously we just heard this is still chaos for the stock situation. We just saw, you know, First Republic Bank and, uh, you know, kind of needing a help from other banks. But he does believe we actually could be reaching some level of stability. You know, we aren't seeing, say, five more banks this coming weekend, you know, potentially reaching a crisis. And so he, he thinks that we might be coming in for a little bit of stability soon. Obviously, this is something that's still very much in the air. But mm -hmm. the message for the banks that most of us have is still one of you're fine. Yeah, the messages of safety for the average banker, right. but why should they feel safe? Yeah, and so again, we just heard about how these banks that are collapsing are ones that funded startups and, you know, people who had a lot more Bitcoin. than... Bitcoin. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, I don't have $250,000 in the bank. A lot of people don't have $250,000 in the bank, and that's actually the amount that the FDIC, the feds, will insure, right? So if every bank collapsed right now, the FDIC still insures that you will get up to $250,000 per account per bank. And so, again, even if there was a much larger collapse than we are seeing right now, it's something that for the average person who doesn't have lots and lots of money in the bank, you're going to be okay. My 45 bucks is safe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know? it is. You know I mean? Thanks, Naomi. <laughs> A UW Platteville educator has returned from a visit to Turkey where she joined a team of people aiming to assess the damage of the earthquakes there last month. Our Catherine Merck shows us how her work could prevent future earthquakes from having as devastating an effect. Last month's earthquake in Turkey was devastating for the country. One UW Platteville professor says her work aims to try to reduce damages happening in these types of disasters. This earthquake was a very significant earthquake, uh, one of the biggest in the world, actually. Dr. Gulan Oskola has a PhD in structural engineering. This video is from her time spent in Turkey. She was with several teams both from there and from the United States to gather data from the aftermath of the pair of 7.8 and 7.5 magnitude earthquakes. 
She says the type of work she participated in can help prevent future earthquakes from having as big of an effect. Researchers always uh, try to go there and try to learn like what happened uh, and why happened. Why the, if there is any failure, uh, especially uh, total collapse in the structures, what is the reason for that? Because as an engineer, our goal to save the lives. This educator hopes her work will impact students in the classroom as well. More on that tonight at 6 o'clock. Reporting in Platteville, I'm Catherine Merck with News 3 Now. Catherine, thank you. United Way of Dane County is making $25,000 in grant funding available to those who wish to apply. From today until April 10th, United Way is accepting proposals and requests for up to $5,000 from grassroots organizations. Groups that are eligible are nonprofit agencies, faith based organizations, and other groups that are working to achieve racial equity or social justice for black, indigenous, Latinx, Southeast Asian people in Dane County. Really, it opens it up for a lot of different folks, and we recognize that, um, you know, $5,000 isn't going to fund an organization by any means. But, um, yeah, when these proposals start to come in, it comes from uh, a hodgepodge of, of uh, programs and organizations from all over the county. If you'd like to submit a grant proposal, visit unitedwaydanecounty.org. Well, back to Duluth, where fans have been waiting for this Frozen Four matchup pitting UW against Minnesota for quite a while. Our Armand Rahman found some locals in Duluth, and he joins us now live. Hi, Armand. Yeah, guys, I know I complained about the cold back in Madison, but I forgot just how bad Duluth can be. But you know what? That didn't stop the fans. As you saw with Zach earlier, they crowded out here to see those Badgers come in on the red carpet. And based on the ones I talked to, I said they're pretty confident for a women's hockey win tonight. The 310 pub nearby Amsoil Arena in Duluth was filled with red and white for the Badgers bash before those girls take the ice at 6. And many of them, like John Wilson, make it a point to watch the women, women's NCAA tournament every year. We have a good time. Women's hockey is a lot of fun to watch. And so we just like to, to go and support who's ever there. It's obviously better if it's Badgers. And fans of all ages came out to the pub with some oldie goldies and, of course, the new generation. And coming up at 5, I talked to a parents, uh, some parents here with their young girls, hockey players themselves, both inspired and excited to watch their role models take the ice tonight. For now, live in Duluth, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. We'll Good see you at five. See so many fans yeah. made the long drive up there. Go Badgers. Thank and you, Armand. And Armand was in Duluth working before he came here, so. Oh, very cool. He knows the lay of the land. <laughs> now we'll check out the standings of the News 3 Now Bracket Challenge. Okay, as of the end of the Marquette, uh, the Marquette game this afternoon, we, is that true? We're tied for first place, place <laughs> with 15 points. <laughs> no, something's got to be wrong. Did you type that in? <laughs> yes, we are. So who are we tied? Oh, we're tied with the, the morning It's a three-way tie. Okay, so we're all in the same Ironically, place. the sports director's last. Now, yesterday he was first, so that's a big upset. Yeah, some, something changed along the way, yeah. so here we go. Wow, that's a shocker. <laughs> we'll take it. <laughs> the news, thanks, the news yeah. <laughs> All right, stocks generally lower following several bank closures, and that includes travel-related stocks. How is that affecting airline fares and hotel rates? CBS travel advisor Peter Greenberg has that when Live at 4 continues. You're watching News 3 Now, live at 4. Oh, the weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain, I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. <laughs> Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. Dan Kelly is extremely corrupt. Six times Kelly ruled in favor of a plaintiff with close ties. He was on their advisory panel. He took contributions from their board. And all six times, Kelly ruled in their favor. Another time, Kelly changed his mind about whether to judge the Zignego case after pocketing $20,000 in contributions from the Zignego family. Corruption, extremism, that's Dan Kelly. 
It's Stop the Madness Month. If your energy bills are too high, stop the madness. If your comfort is out of balance and you go straight from heat to AC, stop the madness. If you've had it with outside noise, stop the madness. Get insulated now and save up to $2,000 with the energy tax credit plus our madness discount. But the clock runs out at the end of the month, so call today. USA Insulation. There are so many things we take for granted. So many things. And along with them, sometimes we take the people who depend on them for their survival for granted too. The elderly, disabled, the veterans, people on limited and fixed incomes, or folks that lost jobs in sectors hardest hit during the pandemic. How can they survive with record increases in their basic cost of living? Some people just can't come back. And through no fault of their own, they're being left behind, struggling to keep their heat, water, and power on. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our heat, water, and power providers are working together to keep you safely in your home. You may not ask for it, but we're here to help. It's the Mattress Madness event at Steinhoffel's. The best time to buy your new mattress. Test rest the new Beautyrest Black for your chance to win a dream vacation to Hawaii. Steinhoffel's has all the best brands at the best prices. And with our 72-month special financing, your new mattress just got more affordable. Plus, with free delivery and our 120-night sleep guarantee, you can't go wrong. Shop in-store or online at steinhoffel's.com. Well, say goodbye to those obnoxious spam text messages. Please let it be true, hopefully. <laughs> the Federal Communications Commission is cracking down on spam texts with new rules for telecom companies. The FCC says it's seen a surge of consumer complaints in recent years tied to unwanted robo-texts. New rules adopted yesterday require phone providers to block text messages from suspicious sources, including phone numbers that appear to be invalid, unallocated or unused. The move mirrors a similar effort to shut down illegal robocalls in the U.S., which has led to at least one phone provider being cut off entirely from the U.S. telephone network. Well, the Trinity Irish dancers are celebrating their 40th season this St. Patrick's Day. News 3 Now this morning was in their Wanakee studios today. Well done, Josh, to help them celebrate. This is ahead of more performances today and tomorrow. Trinity is dedicated to helping dancers triumph over challenges both on and off the dance floor. It's become a family tradition through generations over the last four decades. We really want to make sure we're elevating our dancers, we're giving back to our community, and we're making sure we're empowering them along the way to achieve what they want to. We have a lot of built-in mentorship programs as well, so um, it definitely is very special. It's more than just dance, um, it's a community that we're building. Trinity is always open for new students. Parents can visit their website for dates and times of classes to register their dancer for a free trial. Oh my, look at how cute she is. We've posted a link on channel3000.com and a schedule of events for them as well. Well, bank jitters are still rattling Wall Street despite yesterday's rally. The Dow Industrials fell 384 points ending the week at 31,861. The NASDAQ lost 86 points. The S&P 500 slipped 43. And the big bank failures over the weekend has investors asking serious questions about the health of the economy. Airline CEOs, hotel chains, even cruise lines are now worried that this might pump the brakes on the red-hot tourism industry. Earlier this week, we talked to CBS senior travel editor Peter Greenberg, who's been watching the stocks of major airlines. So let's talk about the big bank failure over the weekend and effect, what effect did that have on travel stocks. Well, you know, anytime there's a disruptive effect anywhere in the world, it does affect the demand. But when it comes to the perceived security and safety of your money, then there's a direct effect on people's discretionary spending, and that was that's where travel comes in. We've already seen a huge softening of demand for not only short-term but long-term bookings. All those algorithms that the airlines use to, to project demand and then set prices, they, they've been put on the table now as the airlines are trying to rapidly adjust 
to the actual landscape they're dealing with. We have no idea how long it's going to last, but within the next 10 days, you're going to probably see airfares come down, hotel rates come down as that demand starts softening throughout the system. Do you think that could put the brakes on the red hot tourism industry right now? Well, it's certainly going to slow it down. How long it lasts remains to be seen. It's about consumer confidence. And if the, uh, the Biden administration can really put a stop to the hemorrhaging of the banks, then you know what? It will come back because people love to travel. Mm -hmm. But for the short term right now, that demand is definitely softening. But if you're comfortable with your money and your bank, it might be a good time to grab a bargain. Uh, hey, you're in a buyer's market the next 10 days because those airfares and those hotel rates have nowhere to go right now but down, and they will go down. Peter, you're joining us today from Fort Myers, Florida. You, we can see you're in a newsroom there, and it's hard to believe it's been six months since Hurricane Ian. Uh, we saw all of the damage that it did to Fort Myers. How is the recovery going there now? Well, here's the interesting story. I was actually here six months ago doing a piece on Fort Myers for my PBS television show, and then a few days after we left, that's when the hurricane came in, and the damage was, of course, devastating. We're here now chronicling the rebuilding, the resilience, and how they're coming back. You mentioned I was coming to you from, from a television station here. This is the CBS affiliate in Fort Myers, WINK. If you look behind me, they still haven't fixed the floor here yet because water came in here, knocked them off the air for two days, uh, at least from this newsroom. So the rebuilding is going on. It's not going necessarily fast, but it's, it is determined simply because in a tourism-based economy, you've got to come back, and that's what they're doing. And tourists are returning? Oh, yes, very much so. And, and, but they've got to be ready for them. Certain of the places that we shot no longer exist. Other places that we shot are now being rebuilt and coming back better because coming back better means better building codes, stronger building codes, and getting ready for whatever may come next. We, we will never forget that video from Wink TV. Remember when Absolutely. studio cameras were un practically underwater? Mm -hmm. What an incredible experience. It's good to see everyone thriving there. Yeah. Oh, look, it is good to see everybody thriving. Uh, look. We got to be reporting the news. We have to have the, the availability of the technology to do it. That involves electricity. And when a wave comes over the generator, you're off the air. Well, guess what? We're back on because you're seeing me and life is going on. Yes. Well, life is going on indeed. Peter, great to see you again. We'll talk to you soon. You got it, guys. Thanks, Peter. They still haven't replaced the flooring, though. I know. Wasn't that video incredible? Yeah. Wow. What a journey. Well, still to come at four, a man and his chicken. <laughs> Need we say more? <laughs> That's coming up after Julian's first worn <laughs> forecast. Need to know what the traffic is like before you hit the road? Get the Channel 3000 app now, and I'll tell you where the trouble spots are and how to get around them. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. When Aspen Dental told me that my dentures was ready, I was so excited. I love the confidence. I love that I can blast this beautiful smile and make the world smile with me. I would totally say Aspen Dental change my life. Aspen Dental makes new smiles affordable. Right now, get 20% off dentures. We do anything to make you smile. Schedule your consultation today. Team, I need a volunteer. We need promotional products. I'm on it. 4imprint makes promotional product success easy. For high quality items, go to 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. When the accident happened, I thought my insurance company would be there for me. I thought I was safe. That they had my back. Instead, I got broken promises. Bullied. Ignored. 
abandoned in the system. I want someone to protect me who would treat me with the dignity and respect I deserve. I deserve. I want them to know my name. To know my name. To know my name. My story. I want them to, to care. care. We care. Injured? Call Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. After driving cattle in the 1880s, hitting the hay could be a literal experience. But some lucky cowpokes got to sack out in a brand new Sealy mattress. And after 140 years, Sealy is still delivering a great night's sleep. That's why Denver Mattress is proud to offer the Sealy Posturepedic Plus hand filled mattress. And right now, save up to $250 and enjoy Posturepedic support where you need it most. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Sealy. We'll take a look at this. A Polish pilot made aviation history by becoming the first person to land a plane on a helicopter pad atop this dizzying 56-story building in Dubai. The stunt was sponsored by Red Bull and was pulled off using a specially adapted light aircraft that made the mid-air landing with only 68 feet of space to stop. The pilot topped things off this astonishing aerial accomplishment with a few donuts <laughs> and some signature celebratory stunts. Take that, Top Gun Maverick. Wow. Know, right? wow. Look at that. I know that one. <laughs> just, <laughs> just hold your stomach. Pop yeah. your stomach. Oof. It's pretty amazing. So it is chilly today, and it's going to be chilly tomorrow, too, right? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> it's just not spring-like weather for us. But, folks, we are looking at improvements. We just need to wait for them. So we're going to take a look at the first warm weather forecast coming up and how you can plan your weekend in a moment. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. InventHelp has helped over 10,000 inventors get patents. You can meet with an InventHelp representative who will keep your idea confidential and explain their invention process step by step. And InventHelp's data bank includes over 9,000 companies who have agreed to review new ideas. Take action and get the help you need from InventHelp. 800-550-5543. Test one, two. Test one, two. He's going to speak now. The bad news. Most cell companies only give you discounts if you meet their hidden requirements. I bet he says the good news now. The good news. U.S. Cellular gives you $830 off any phone when you choose an unlimited evolved plan. No plan restrictions or trade-ins needed. Oh, so nice. So, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. No. Oh. Ooh. It's busted. We're good. <laughs> oh, no. Get $830 off any phone with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. I'm Scott the Window Guy with AHD Wisconsin Windows, our solid core. Cut! Uh, sorry, everyone. I get a notification every time I get a positive review online. Make up. Thanks, Dawn. We think our windows are pretty great, too. Take two. I'm Scott the Window Guy with AHD Wisconsin Windows, our solid core, composite frame, triple pane windows are worth a positive review at scottthewindowguy.com. Cut! Somebody give me his phone. And seriously? At Lawton Cates, we provide compassion and guidance after a serious accident. From the first phone call, we're by your side. We know how much is at stake, and we're dedicated to ensuring you can heal and move forward. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. This month, meet Madison Magazine's Chef of the Year. How Sean Farr's approachable food with a twist is redefining upscale dining. And learn the common thread that links three very different clothing empires. Madison Magazine, online and on newsstands now. Want to know right now what the weather will be like tomorrow? Download the First Warn Weather app and you'll get my customized forecast for tonight and tomorrow. The First Warn Weather app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. News 3 Now is always on. Download the Channel 3000 app and you'll have access to the News 3 Now newsroom in the palm of your hand. The Channel 3000 app. Get it now. Powered by News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. 
Windy and cold is going to continue throughout the rest of our St. Patrick's Day festivities and even leading into our weekend. But let's start with where we're at with the wind gusts as of right now. Around 26 miles per hour winds in gusting for Madison, 33 for Platteville and Mineral Points, around 32 miles per hour over towards Janesville. So we're all getting those blustery conditions, but really it's the wind chills again that's going to be an issue for us heading into the rest of this evening and for tonight. We're at 19 degrees of what it feels like as of right now for Madison in Janesville and around 11 degrees for our friends in Platteville, which you can see for our friends to the northwest from the cross of Roquewood. It feels like the single digits already for our Friday afternoon. The good news is, though, is that we do have some sunshine, but we're not looking for these winds to really die out once we get into the rest of the nighttime and heading into the weekend. Expect these winds to be relatively the same intensity throughout the much of our Saturday until we get into our Sunday where things will start to taper off a bit and we'll also see a shift in winds, which is going to bring in milder temperatures by the time we get into our Sunday. Overnight, though, folks, and for early Saturday morning, we could see temperatures on what it feels like reaching a couple degrees below zero. It's going to be a very, very cold night, so make sure that you're bundling up and layering up getting into our Saturday morning and afternoon. Here's a look at our surface map is right now we have the cold and windy conditions for the upper Midwest as that system that was bringing us rain all day yesterday is continuing to move its way into the mid Atlantic snow is for Canada but we are on the dry side and we're going to be dealing with that throughout the next couple of days as high pressure is going to continue to move into the upper Midwest over the next few days for us walking through our future track is what we're expecting those temperatures are going to stay cold throughout the rest of tonight heading into tomorrow might see some flurries really early around five o'clock, especially just north of Dane County, starting to make their way around Madison into the early Saturday morning hours. But once we get into the afternoon, not seeing much in terms of improvement for temperatures into the upper teens, the lower 20s. This is going to be a day if you don't have to be outside, you may as well stay inside because the winds alone are going to be keeping things very cold throughout the rest of the start of our weekend. Here's our three things we're going to need to know. Windy conditions are going to be the headliner for the next couple of days. 20s through Saturday could see some early flurries, but the good news is we will see improvements once we get into our Sunday. It's not going to be as cold, near 40 degrees throughout much of southern Wisconsin, so it's going to be close to what we really would like to be optimal for this time of year. So 24 degrees is going to be our high for Saturday, heading into our Sunday around 39 but it's still going to be even better once we get into next week. So spring kicks off for Monday, which will be the actual start for spring season. And we're going to be seeing those temperatures walk or be relatively close to what we're going to be seeing for it. Love, uh, lower 50s throughout much of the start of next week and any kind of precipitation is mainly going to be rain. So we're going to get some spring showers for the first true week of spring which is the good news for us and the silver lining as we are now itching closer to finally breaking out of this cold spell. Yeah. Hopefully we can start to see not just green on our clothes, but green on the grass as well. 50s will feel nice. Oh, it's yeah. going to feel like summer. Yeah. Oh, After good. all of this? Yes. <laughs> this is it. Perhaps. <laughs> don't, we say that don't in the middle of It's April. the luck of the Irish. <sighs> we got to roll with it this time. Yeah. Huh? Thanks, Julian. Thanks, Julian. Wisconsin is home to many chickens and roosters, but... <laughs> How many roosters do you know wear a flannel vest, a gold chain, and jeans? <laughs> Ian Russell introduces us to the rooster that's turning heads and raising money around Arkansas. 46 Sanders. Gas stations aren't usually a place you spend a lot of time at, unless you're Brian Love. And I got a little car trouble down in Memphis, and I kind of landed here in Arkansas. And now I'm here. The rapper from Wisconsin has traveled the country, not alone, <laughs> and not with partners you'd expect. I get my man here and give him a better life because the place I got him from, they wouldn't treat him too good. So I figure if I got him, he'd live a life he's supposed to live. <laughs> Meet 46 Sanders. <laughs> 46 from the street love grew up on. Sanders, a reference to the Colonel. Then I got serious and started to love him. and became my real pet and a real thing. And the clothes, well, that has everybody talking. The man that's been getting everybody attention in town. Pictures cost $5, money to help get his truck out of the shop and get him home. I'm watching him. The Sanders. But that money isn't just for love. I go in every town, and when I see the low poverty areas, I make a note of it, and I go do a food drive before I leave. So when y'all out there supporting me, just know I do give back, you know what I'm saying? Because, hey, y'all gave to me. I got to give to the next person. We keep it going. It's also a chance to give back to places that have helped him. My dad used to do it, and he passed away. So I figured the, it, it kind of, like, eased me to have a little 
moment, like I'm still doing something for my dad, so ease the pain for me. You'd think someone down on their luck would focus on themselves first. Love would disagree. I've been down so many times, I figured negativity can only make it worse. Even though this situation isn't what he'd like to be in, he's keeping his head high. You got a dream, go for it. I'm having down moments, but still choosing to smile. And doing that's a lot easier with partners like these. Shout out 46 Sanders for creating this moment because he was the one that got the attention for me to even say the words that I'm saying today. In Little Rock, Ian Russell, THB 11 News. So Where many, did the chicken on the roof so come from? So many questions. Yeah, and how did they get that rooster in a pair of jeans? And, I can't and get a hat on my and cat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to put a hat on your cat. <laughs> well, no, like, will the news hounds wear costumes oh, yeah, and stuff like that? They do? Not like that. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on. And pick up your game. They need some chains and. I wouldn't name a chicken after Colonel Sanders. Uh, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. What a nice, good guy. <laughs> yes, he is. He's doing good work. Coming up next year on Live at Four, Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin are back together for a movie. And then coming up next hour at 5, we stop by St. Mary's Hospital for a special visit from Madison's <laughs> Leprechaun. More questions. That's coming up at 5. Get the absolute best pricing now during Ashley's anniversary event. We've marked down everything to match online prices, all backed by our 30-day price guarantee. Get your choice of six months interest-free financing or low monthly payment options and free local delivery only at Ashley. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Oh, no, I think I lost my debit card. Okay, don't panic. Don't panic. We're in a mall. Some stranger's probably tapping new shoes, tapping a washer-dryer combo, just tapping everything in sight. It's okay. Just tap your phone. With BMO, you can use your phone to freeze and unfreeze a lost card. I can? And you can always get a new card instantly at a BMO branch. I got my tap back. You ever seen someone this excited about a debit card before? Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Not this excited. When a bank gives you instant peace of mind, that's the BMO effect. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Celebrate Ashley's anniversary with our lowest mattress prices of the season. Get your best night's sleep on Purple, Tempur-Pedic, Serta, and more. All backed by our 30-day price guarantee and special financing options that fit your budget at Wisconsin's number one mattress retailer, Ashley. New at 5, Wisconsin's longest-serving Secretary of State, Doug LaFollett, has retired. His history in office and how Sarah Godlewski will fit in. Windy and cold weather will continue through Saturday. There'll be a slight chance of flurries late tonight and early tomorrow morning. Milder weather begins Sunday and continues through next week. At 5, I'll let you know how mild it'll be for next week. And ahead at 5.30, a local professor returns from a relief trip to Turkey. How he hopes his students can learn from his experiences there tonight at 5.30. Wow. <laughs> Give me Look the, at that. Giving the weather satellite a spin. This is a live shot from Dublin, Ireland. It's about 20 to 10 there. Yep. 51 cool. degrees. 51 degrees. Oh, that this looks This is the famous like... tap. This is the famous bar that everybody hangs out at in Dublin. That looks like so much fun. Wouldn't you love to spend no. St. Patrick's Day <laughs> in Dublin? A little prouder. Oh, I would. <laughs> All right, they've done two movies and a long-running television series together. Now, two award-winning actresses are back together on the big screen. David Daniel has a look at the movie Moving On. 
Why, why are you carrying that knife? Oh, I was going to stab someone. <laughs> She's not kidding. Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin re-team in writer-director Paul Weitz's dark comedy, yeah, Moving On. Crazy. One day they called me up, probably from the set of Grace and Frankie or something. And Lily said, hey, we're sitting here talking and we want you to write a movie for us. And uh, it stuck in my head and I was like, oh, that's, thank you so much. That's, that's flattering. That led to an idea. Somebody going up to a widow at a funeral and in the middle of everybody saying, I'm going to kill you. Now that she's gone, now that it can't hurt her, I'm going to kill you. Why is revealed in the course of the film, as well as the dynamics of the women's longtime friendship. Four and a half decades. Feels like it was yesterday. Jane and Lily, uh, they got together ahead of time and did a lot of work on what their relationship was. I'm in. You're in what? My other murder canceled this week, so I've got time. Evelyn tries to have everything on her own terms. Sometimes she has to sacrifice friendship. <laughs> I've missed you. You had my number. Well, you had my number. So we're both lousy friends. I really think it's like such a fallacy that like young people are edgy and older people are less so. Do you have any poison? I have a cyanide pill in case I'm captured by the enemy. You can have it. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Familiar characters? Yeah. In high school, in high school musical time, it, it's high school musical time is what I'm trying to say. And this weekend, it's New Glarus's turn. When we come back, we'll go center stage for New Glarus High School's production of Little Shop of Horrors. That's when Live at Four continues. There's a difference in a small town where family values still hold true. Welcome to the Portage Furniture Store. Well, we ventured back to Portage and look at who we found, the two Ayers brothers, Austin and Aaron. It's good to see you guys. Welcome back. So how is business? How is life? Business has been great. You know, it's been very busy, uh, busy for both of us. A couple new kiddos in the, you know, in the past year. So no, but business has been has been doing great. I know you really want to give a, sh a shout out to all of the people around this area that shop local, that choose to come right here to Cook Street to see the two of you. Obviously, first and foremost, we're so appreciative of our customers, and there's just been such a strong sentiment to shop local, shop small, support family business, and you know, I guess with the inventory, we've been very blessed. We've got a packed showroom, trucks coming in every week. We've really, uh, we're, we're running out of places to put everything. We're, we're in good shape. <laughs> I feel like there's such a difference in the customer's mood when they walk in. They don't have that anxious feeling of, oh gosh, here comes the salesperson coming over to talk to me. Yeah. Why is that so different here? We put a major emphasis on no pressure shopping. Our salespeople, they're fantastic. They're gonna be there when you need them, but they're gonna let you, you know, try everything out and they're gonna leave you alone and let you relax. So all these years later, the big question, is there still the Portage Furniture free delivery? Yep, absolutely. Still the free delivery. Gonna bring it right into your home, set it up, make it perfect for you. They'll even cook you dinner or sing a song for you if you need. <laughs> they're, they're just fantastic. That's that small, local, family feel, business mentality. Absolutely. You just, you can't replicate it, right? We are the family. family. From the Portage Furniture Store, I'm Emmy Fink, and we you're buzzed into, into Madison. Madison. Fry Construction invites you to celebrate spring with our big spring thaw sale. We're talking about savings of 23%. Many of your neighbors already know how we strive to meet and exceed expectations with each and every project. That's why they voted us best roofer three years in a row. Experience the best of Madison for yourself with Fry Construction. Get on board with our spring thaw sale. Save 23% off gutters or insulation with any full roofing project. Schedule your consultation today at fryconstruction.com. Sometimes you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you don't do enough for yourself or your mouth. But eventually it will remind you. When it does, Aspen Dental is here for you. We offer the custom dental treatments you need all under one roof right nearby. So we can bring more life to your smile and more smile to your life affordably. New patients without insurance can get a complete exam and x-rays for $29 and 20% off treatment plans. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Schedule your appointment today. 
And a look at our traffic update as we are close to the 5 p.m. rush hour. Well, for our Friday so far along the Beltline, everything is green in accordance with our St. Paddy's Day. But we are looking at some slower spots along Verona Road and near the uh, onto the ramps. But otherwise, things are rather smooth as we get closer to the 5 o'clock rush hour, especially onto the interstates. Not looking at any issues as of right now. It's going to do it for our traffic update. Over to you guys. All right, Julian, thank you. These fraternal twin elephants at the zoo in Syracuse are celebrating St. Patrick's Day with some green bath bombs and green themed enrichments. This whole thing might look radioactive, but rest assured, the zoo staff says the green dye is non-toxic and safe for the baby elephants. By the way, the pool did not survive the celebration. And it's not very green. It's, not very, it's <laughs> supposed they, to they be. They needed a little bit more coloring, I think. There's that fun, though. We saw those a while ago. The one elephant wouldn't go in the pool. Right. But now, right. apparently, right. they're both in it. Well, in 1960, the cult film classic The Little Shop of Horrors was released. Set in a floral shop, an assistant grows a plant that feeds on human flesh and blood. That, the the was dropped with The Little Shop of Horrors when it debuted on Broadway in 1982. A film based on the musical was released in 1986. The film and now the show is a favorite with community and high school theater groups. Including New Glarus High School, which is performing Little Shop of Horrors this weekend. Seymour plant and all. You urchins, off my stuff. It ain't bad enough I've got white nose permanently decorated my storefront. And now I need you worthless ragamuffins to complete the picture. So Little Shop of Horrors is about Seymour Krellborn and he works in a flower shop down on Skid Row in New York, which is really a poor place. And he finds this plant and he doesn't know if it's some sort of a Venus flytrap or what kind of plant it is, but it starts bringing a lot of success to the florist shop and he names it after his crush, Audrey II. And it ends up being a plant that uh, survives on human blood, so he needs to keep feeding it in order for the shop to stay successful. I keep asking God what I'm for, and he tells me, gee, I'm not sure. As you can probably see by the costume, it is uh, pretty socially awkward and um, just not a very pretty nerdy guy. Um, and he works at Mushnik's florist shop. Um, in downtown Skid Row, um, and his boss is Mr. Mushnik, and he has a big crush on his coworker Audrey. Um, in the musical, um, Seymour is the one who discovers um, the Audrey II, which originally brings a lot of fame and fortune to uh, the shop, but it comes with a big twist because the only thing that the Audrey II um, can use to grow is human blood. So Seymour ends up going a little bit crazy um, and starts feeding people to the plant. She is a very interesting and kind of layered character. Um, she had a very hard past, and she feels like she doesn't deserve love, um, even though that's all she gives other people. She's always giving other people love, and um, she initially starts the show with an abusive boyfriend. I, I just like how many layers she has. Um, initially, you think she's just a ditzy blonde, doesn't know anything, but really, she she has a lot of emotion behind it. We have about 20 in the cast and about 20 in the pit, um, and then another five on stage crew, so we're, we're a pretty small school. One thing that's really unique um, is our pit is mostly com uh, composed of student musicians. And our stage crew is all student run, our lighting is all student run, our sound is all student run. So a lot of our production is student run, and I'm really proud of our students for that.
It's a little shop of horrors. It's today, tomorrow, and Sunday. We usually put that up on the screen, but it's sold out. That's incredible. Congratulations. Yeah. And the entire town must be coming up. Oh, that's great. And the film, the original film made in 1960, was made for $28,000. You're kidding. That might be something <laughs> worth rewatching this week. It might be. Break a leg, everybody. All right, well, final check your forecast coming up. Y10 Golfland offers two golf and multi-sport simulator suites. Play great golf courses with unmatched viewing clarity. Play different sports such as football and soccer. Have fun with zombie ball. Y10 Golfland provides simulator fun for everyone. Eyes require a certain kind of care. As a family-owned optical company for over 40 years, Wisconsin Vision knows firsthand just how important your eyes are. That's why our doctors and staff are highly skilled and passionate in their roles. It's why our centers offer a large selection of eyewear suitable for all lifestyles. And it's why our Lens Lab is state-of-the-art, conveniently located right here in Wisconsin. Ask about $100 off a complete pair, frame, and lenses. Wisconsin Vision. See. More. Life. This is Matt Gunderson, and this is Elmer, our canine cuddle ambassador, here to provide good-natured, loving, fuzzy support to further our level of personal care. Someday you might meet Elmer as we assist you with an individual life celebration. Backyard living season is coming soon. CoolView has great solutions to beat the backyard blues and save 15 to 25 percent. Cover your deck with a screen porch, an enclosed porch, or sunroom. If you have a screen porch, let us turn it into an enclosed porch. Shade your patio with a pergola or awning. All on sale now. Let CoolView show you how to tame your backyard blues. Call now for a quote before the sun sets on savings. Get a new view from CoolView. Buy Tents Golfland offers a free top tracer golf range experience. Obtain valuable shot information with warm up, track your shot history with my practice, play virtual golf, long drive, points game, go fish. Only at Buy Tents Golfland. Wisconsin has a new Secretary of State. How Sarah Godlewski will take over after the longest serving reign in the position. And we dive into the banking troubles. Is your money safe with Wisconsin banks? That's coming up at 5. A high-stakes election for a seat on the Wisconsin Supreme Court. News 3 Now presents a debate between candidates Daniel Kelly and Janet Protasewicz in a campaign 2023 special. Tuesday at 4 p.m. only on News 3 Now. The three things you'll need to know. We're going to be looking at gusty winds coming in from the rest of this afternoon tonight into our Saturday. We can see winds being sustained for 30 to 35 miles per hour and heading into tomorrow where we're still holding on into the 20s. May see some flurries early in the morning, but otherwise going to be a dry weekend. But temperatures will climb near 40 once we get into our Sunday. A look at our weekend. We're having 24 degrees be our high for Saturday. Sunshine will return and so will decent temperatures into the upper 30s to close out the weekend. Chief Meteorologist just Gary can also walk through what else you need to know coming up at five and to close out the winter. Thank you, Julian. Monday here on Live Before, our film critic Will Loper runs down the weekend box office and has viewing suggestions. And we'll meet a little girl whose smile or lack of one is breaking <laughs> the internet. <laughs> She's so cute. That's, she is so cute. That's coming up Monday on Live at Four. Parker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Parker Heating and Cooling. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts. Furniture for living. Furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale. Going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Lake Ridge may be a new name, but it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one, as Lake Ridge Bank. We're doing more together for you. Habish attorneys are the best of what a personal injury attorney is about. To get the most money for your case, you need to have a law firm that's unrelenting. 
We will fight with all that we have in person power, in knowledge, in experience to bring about the result they deserve. I can't give them their life back how it was, but I can give them the financial compensation to get their life back on track. Remember this, and this, and the false selector scheme. In Wisconsin, extremist Dan Kelly was the right-wing lawyer behind the scenes of it all. The bipartisan January 6th commission revealed Kelly advised Trump operatives as special counsel to overturn the will of the people and overthrow the election results. Kelly even went on tour promoting the big lie. On April 4th, vote like democracy depends on it, because it does. Flex Steel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our Flex Steel authorized sale, going on now at Wanaki Furniture ETC. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. Spring officially begins on Monday, and spring, among other things, means baby zoo animals. <laughs> and Louie and Oliver are all over the nursery news. Here's this week's edition of the News Hounds. Here's the News Hounds, Louie and Oliver, with their World News Roundup. This week on the News Hounds, oh dear. A 90-year-old dad and a mother's love. But first, Mother's Day is this Sunday in the UK, and one of the world's rarest pigs is preparing for her first Mother's Day. Tess is a Vizion Wardy pig at the Whipsnade Zoo in Northern England. She gave birth to her first piglet back in December. Tadio was the first ever Vizion Wardy pig born at the Conservation Zoo. The critically endangered pig is known as the world's rarest because there are less than 200 left in the wild. So this little one is very special. Speaking of special, the staff at the Stone Zoo in Massachusetts are thrilled to announce the newest furry face to their family, a Linnae's two-tone sloth. The baby was born last week and is the sixth offspring for parents Lunesta and Nero. The little one appears strong and healthy and has been nursing, which is a great sign. The baby will be totally dependent on mom for the first few months. And here's a fun fact. Sloth's hair grows in the opposite direction of most mammals because they spend the majority of their lives upside down. Mr. Pickles, a 90-year-old radiated tortoise, is the father of these three hatchlings at the Houston Zoo. Mr. Pickles is the oldest animal at the zoo and the newest father. Mr. and Mrs. Pickles have been together since she arrived in 1996, and they only birthed one little pickle previously in 1997. The new hatchlings named Dill, Gherkin, and Jalapeno are walking around an enclosure at the zoo. The baby tortoises will remain behind the scenes until they're big enough to safely join their parents' enclosure. And finally, all oh, girls and boys, off you go. Look at that lot. Fantastic. There's another load behind them, isn't there? There's hundreds of them. Look at them all. What a fantastic herd. You can say that again. A Coast Guard team in southern England captured this video while they were patrolling the area, a seemingly never-ending parade of deer. After a while, the herd thinned out a bit before the final straggler crosses the road. Talk about a deer crossing. And that's this week's edition of the News Hounds Now Update. I don't know if, which one that is, if that's dill or gherkin, but <laughs> awfully cute. All right, that's our time for now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. News 3 Now at 5 starts right now.